Your Grace, the Most Reverend Henry Chukundu Dukuba, Archbishop, Metropolitan, and Primate of all Nigeria, and Mama Nigeria, Mrs. Angela Ebrechuku Ndukuba. Your Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Ali Bubalamido, the Dean, Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Ulushola Sonwolo. Please permit me to stand on the existing protocols. It is a great pleasure for us, and indeed a honor of historical significance, to warmly welcome each and every one of us in the name of God, the Blessed Trinity. And on behalf of the good people of Lagos Diocese, to this August gathering of church leaders, we welcome especially our dear primate, our Mama Nigeria, the Dean of our National Church, our eminent church fathers, and indeed all delegates to the Standing Committee of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, holding here in the historic city of Lagos, Africa's leading economic hub, and the nation's commercial capital, Nigeria's center of excellence, state of aquatic splendor, Makosim of Nigeria, a city lightly famous for its nightlife, and ugly blue, the most vibrant on the continent. Please, if you want to clap, clap very well. We celebrate you also. Ordinarily, and in consonance with historical records, the Sea of Lagos occupies a special place in history, being the oldest in the Church of Nigeria. And by that token, the mother of all dioceses and first among equals in the National Church. Expectedly, too, the Diocese of Lagos has robustly benefited from the culminative, aggressive, evangelistic efforts of the various church fathers that had nurtured it since its creation on 10th of December 1919. From its pro precursor, the Anglican Diocese of West Equatorial Africa, with Bishop F. Mary Jones, who was his first incumbent bishop, as well as his immediate successor in office, the most reverend Lesser God in Vining. Third in the line of succeeding bishops was the right reverend Adelakon, Williamson Hope Crowes, followed in further quick succession by the right reverend Seth Nusiwe Kale, the right reverend Festus Uluwale Shegun, and his grace, the most reverend daughter Joseph Abiodun. At from 2000 to 2018, the Dows of Lagos enjoyed yet another fresh turn of monumental advancement under the leadership of the seventh bishop, the most reverend daughter Ephraim Adebola Demowo, before passing the baton to us on Monday, 30th July 2018, as incumbent of the diocese and the eighth in succession. God moves in mysterious ways, says William Cowper. His wonders to perform, his purposes with ripple fast, unfolding every hour. To the glory of God, we are strongly prepared by our evergreen mantra of a divinely ordered five fold mandate, namely, priestly, pastoral, prophetic, prayer and praise ministries, and with the huge cooperation and prayerful support of our people, our divine mandate partners, and million others across the globe who share our great vision, we launch out into the deep. We return all thanks to our covenant-keeping God for the imperishable legacy of our past heroes, but thank him the more for raising the bar in these very few years of our incumbency. We are particularly overwhelmed and totally spellbound 
by the gigantic miracles of our centenary city project, an imagined phenomenal experience of a lifetime, a multi-mega project of unimaginable magnitude that is beginning to unfold. The Centenary City Project is located on a 5,000 plot parcel of land behind Pan Atlantic University Beduleki Epe Expressway and envisioned to parade several spiritual, sporting, Christian resource, housing, and health facilities, a rehabilitation center, conventional grant, Garden of Gessiman, retreat center, empowerment and youth development center, Games Village and Sporting Center, Women Empowerment Center, Glazation Resorts, Amusement Park, Low Income Housing Estate, and many more. After only two years, the following have been completed. The City Gate and Century Post, the Nadanjuma Housing Estate of 42 apartments each, and by December, we will have completed three units of 42 apartments each, of a total of 106 apartments. Paving works and drainage of 1.2 kilometers dual carriage way leading to the guest money garden. Primary Dukubas Way. Paving work for the chapel at the Garden of Guest Money Garden. Paving work for two units of guest houses at the Garden of Guest Man. Paving work for five units of 42 apartments each. The dual carriage access road leading from Midera Housing Scheme. Junction to the Centenary City Gate is currently being constructed with the assistance of the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sanwolu, an eminent Anglican. As part of our completion strategy plan, we have directed that henceforth, and beginning with our 2022 Synod, the official opening section of every Dawson Synod we now hold at the Centenary City. Also, as part of the specials in our welcome package, we invited our primate, our mama Nigeria, on a guided visit to the centenary city. In consonance with Christ's directive that we should serve as his weaknesses unto the uttermost parts of the earth, as St. Dalsis, we have remained aggressively committed to fulfilling the commission. As we take the gospel round even to the grassroots, to the glory of God, in less than three years of our translation to the Sea of Lagos, we have been able to plant over 24 churches, with all of them having their places of worship. <laughs> we are not relenting. That is why we have the assistant directorate that have been saddled solely with this responsibility that is designed to cut across all IGKs in the diocese. However, we have our own challenges especially in securing land for some of our churches, we sometimes have to part with as much as 100 million to secure a plot of land for some new churches. Lagoon Radio, www.lagoonradio.ng, an online gospel radio station, was commissioned on 24th of January 2019. The radio is daily managed by a dedicated team of young Anglicans who run interactive and educative radio shows across the world and has a listenership of over 7,000 unique listeners every month from all over the world. To the glory of God, we witness the former handing over to the Dallas of Lagos, the Cathedral Circle Rock Apartments for the elderly. It has seen be converted into a specialist hospital for the elderly in consonance with the pastoral requirement of our fivefold divine mandate. As we all know, education remains a very veritable very, very tool for evangelic, aggressive evangelism. In a world of uncertainties and value distortions, apart from consolidating on the impressive gains of our immediate predecessor at the Archbishop Abiodun Adetiloye Comprehensive College, Igbo Yekbe, we also acquired the Light International Schools at Papa comprising crash, nursery, primary, and senior secondary levels in its composite bundles, as well as the planned twin campuses of the St. Nice City College, Ayete Dui 
both in the Kerlekiasis of the diocese and state, as a means to further broaden the latitude of accessibility of our members. We directed that the school fees be considerable slash for all and sundry, while students of Anglican descent or origin will pay only 50% of the tuition fees. <laughs> Believing that many of our children will benefit directly from these efforts aimed at complementing existing efforts in these directions. Further to this, we also instituted a one million naira for first class graduates program through which we reward young Anglicans who distinguish themselves in their various academic programs by graduating with a first class. Such emerging beneficiaries are given a million naira to proceed to the next level anywhere in the world <laughs> for even higher degrees. We were delightfully surprised to see how rich our future human capital as six of our youth have benefited from this gesture, and we are still counting. We serve of our young people competing to outdo one another. The future of Anglican Church is indeed promisingly bright. And also within these few years, we've been able to empower over 17 youth with a minimum of 500,000, each to the glory of God. The Diocese of Lagos, as a mother to all other dioceses in the Church of Nigerian Nican Communion, has not been slack in rendering assistance to other dioceses, most especially dioceses that are in economically unstable areas. Two years ago, during the St. Night celebration, we facilitated the construction of boreholes to 20 dioceses. And after that, with the help of God, we also assisted over 60 dioceses during the heat of the COVID pandemic. We are paying the stipends of priests in three dioceses, as well as host dioceses for their clergy retreats. These are only a few among the many good things that God has and we continue to enable the dioceses to do in our appreciation of God's faithfulness. Your Grace, the Primate of all Nigeria, our Mama Nigeria, our Church Fathers, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I have gone this great length in the course of welcoming you to briefly catalog the rather huge manifestations of our very benevolent God to us as a leader and to the people of our diocese. As a people, in an attempt to humbly request you to join us in celebrating the goodness of God to us, as a people, and the Anglican Communion in Nigeria is a blessed church. Indeed, we feel more encouraged to do more, even more, with your continued prayers for us, our divine mandate partners, and other well-meaning supporters, men and women of good will, who have continually been up and doing in ensuring that the flame of the mandate keeps burning brightly. The standing committee theme, we thank God for the inspiration of this theme, abiding in Christ. God is here in an unstable world. It is very relevant. Many people have a regimented relationship with God. They disconnect from him when they feel they can do it and run after him when the chips are down. However, we are called upon to abide in him to become stable in an unstable world. Appreciation. Permit me to single out for prayers the grand return of our centenary celebrations. His Excellency General Theophilus Y. Danjuma, who at the commencement of the program and former launch of the centenary celebration projects in 2019, demonstrated exemplary leadership and pious commitment to God's work by his most generous pledge of 5 billion naira towards the building of low income housing estate at the centenary city at an annual rate of one billion. To the glory of God, he has been faithfully and committedly redeeming the pledge and has remitted the sum of two billion for the two years spent so far. <laughs> Our very huge depths of gratitude must also most fittingly go to the primate of our church, the most reverend Henry Dukuba, for placing such big trust in us and for the entire Church of Nigeria for granting our diocese 
the privilege of hosting the standing committee meeting again in Lagos, which we hosted over a decade ago. We appreciate sincerely our own dear governor and dearly beloved parishioner, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sangolu, who is also the advisor to the Daosisan on mission. <laughs> for his support and commitment to the work of God in our diocese, we appreciate you for the transformation going on in our state and the peace we are enjoying. All our archbishops of provinces are well appreciated for the advice and counsel in the course of our preparation. We not forget our brother bishops from all dioceses, far and near, for the input at one point or the other. We remain eternally grateful to you all. We appreciate the support of our fathers in the province of Lagos, starting with the most reverend daughter, Michael Fakwe. We also sincerely appreciate the committee members of several projects and programs for being up and doing, even when we are not there to supervise them. They have continued to be sincere in it, knowing that the Lord is the reward of them that serve him. And now to my amiable consort, Professor Mrs. Motunayo Olumakaye, who believed undoubtedly in our ministry and has, and has continued to throw her weight behind me always, even in prayers, and indeed because you have made the journey a memorable and what do I want? Thank you, my angel. As we very warmly welcome you all to Lagos, the center of excellence, the smart city of Aquantic Spender, and to the Church of Nigeria Standing Committee meeting, we also want to very sincerely implore you to give utmost priority to the issue of security given the rather fragile nature of the nation's security conditions. We appeal to you to kindly ensure that you know where you are going at every opportunity. If you must go out of this venue, and within this venue, kindly use your tag always. The protective hand of God will be upon us all. Throughout this program and beyond in Jesus' name. Without any out of doubt, I want to assure you, by the grace of God, of the readiness of the good people of Lagos to thoroughly spoil you. With a superlative form of rich hospitality, boundless love, incomparable warmth, loving affection that will make you to know that indeed there is a home away from home in Lagos. Thank you most sincerely. Wishing you all Lagoon of Blessings. Bamishebi, Lagos.